Hello and welcome everyone. Today's going to be a little bit of a different video here. Uh, got some things that I want to show off. I'm working on a PC build and it's going to be the first one on the channel, but uh, you know, it's a learning curve and I am in the process of trying to figure out how to streamline that and get that process down and edited and all that. But uh, in the meantime, I've been working on another project that just went into interest check this week. And I'm really proud of it. And I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about this project and what it is, because you're gonna see more of it on this channel, at least probably two, three, maybe four more videos on it, depending um, where we go. So I wanna to introduce to you the Gateron Cream Soda. I am an avid enjoyer of milky switches, particularly milky yellows. I, I like the weight of them. And, uh, you know, inks are pretty popular. And I recently got my hands on some Gateron ink switches, ink blacks, and decided I wanted to try the milky top because I don't like the way the ink housing top sounds. Um, so I put them together and I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. And then I tossed some kale burgundy stems in them and kind of fell in love a little bit. So I've been kind of conceptualizing this switch for a while. And then I came up with an idea of a theme. And this is going to see some this is going to be a theme that you guys are going to see more in the future as I grow with it and the theme kind of grows with the channel. So over here we've got the Geek Hack page for the Gateron Cream Soda. And as you can see here, it is kind of inspired by uh the original old-fashioned cream soda, essentially uh, a soda water that is poured over a vanilla ice cream, uh, often topped with like a whipped cream and a cherry or something like that, that was served in old school like soda fountains. So that is the inspiration for this. So not to be confused with the cream soda that you get from a can or a bottle in modern times. This is more something that's a bit eclectic. Like you can still find these soda fountains and get these types of cream sodas, but I just really wanted to throw back this vibe, this theme to a simpler time. So uh, here is the Gateron cream soda. It's a linear switch. Uh, it's using a true milky top uh, going to be going for a little bit of a, a wider appearance, but you'll see that here in a moment. And uh, it's got an ink bottom, which is very similar to the kangaroo switches, but uh, slightly different in coloration. And, uh, and it's going to be a bit more opaque if we can get that color. Uh, 63 gram spring, uh, not doing anything crazy, other than the fact that it's an 18 millimeter long spring like you find again in the kangaroo. Uh, I like long springs. I'm not a fan of progressive springs or a fan of um, uh, multi-stage springs in a linear switch. I like that that heavy force up top and then, then that dump into the bottom. And really, this was something that uh, it's based off my personal preference. And I just think they're pretty amazing. And I, the way they're designed is I think they would offer a nice base for Franken switching. So you can always switch the springs out if you wanted to. The intention is to have these factory lubed. They are going to have the Gateron long pole that is only found in the Pureberry switch right now. So that's pretty exciting. And then we've already got a pretty substantial list of vendors that are uh, working with us to potentially pick these up uh, once these run in group buy. So again, this is the geek hack. If you wanna share the poster around, this is the poster for the switch. Uh, these are some render images. Uh, that were done in blender. So as you can see it, we're trying to go for a bit more opaque So they're n they don't really have that clear look that you get and that may affect the sound a little bit, too So we shall see uh, I do intend to have a video uh, with the the samples that we get here in a bit, but uh, uh, initially I am intending to Do a video showcasing uh, the proof of concept but let's just take a look at the colors here so again it's kind of got like a creamish color bottom that is you know an off-white uh but more leaning in toward the cream because you know the vanilla ice cream tends to have that color uh the white is representative of the whipped cream that is on top 
and then the red, which is the most controversial thing that we're finding in the interest check, is meant to represent the cherry. And I think when people understand that the red is meant to represent the cherry, uh, there's a couple things that happen. They understand the concept and it no longer boggles them uh, as much as they their brain was being boggled before. But in addition to that, we're also getting that contrast, which I think is is beautiful. Like just having that pop of red against that that neutral tone, and you'll see where that comes into play here soon with some further concepts that I'm designing as well. So what I'd like to do is uh, so what I'd like to do is take a look at some photos that I got. So uh, first things first, let's take you to the same screen that we were just looking at. So again, linear. Uh, milky top, ink bottom, long pole, uh, and 63 gram long spring. So again, that more opaque milky top, more of like a beige, tan, light creamy bottom. And then there's our top. So again, I really like the pop of that red stem. And this is something, an image that I threw together just tonight we have the proof of concept. So this is the kangaroo bottoms with a milky top, kangaroo spring, and ungabunga stem. So it's this is not going to be identical to what we get from Gateron, but it is legitimately that is a proof of concept. So of course it's going to feel um, it's going to feel a little bit different with the polished stem. And uh, the Ungabungas tend to have a very long pull. I think it's somewhere like 13.81 uh, or 8.3 millimeters long. So it's, it's pretty long. And, uh, but I do plan on demoing this here uh, within the next week or so. Um, I do have my materials to finish my Satisfaction 75. So if you guys weren't aware of that, that's kind of a, for those of you who are catching this video, uh, that is something that... Uh, I will be doing so we'll be doing the satisfaction 75 and uh, I'll be building it with these particular switches on a brass plate and if the sound is representative of what I'm looking for um, I will have a video a short out on that here shortly followed by a video in a couple of weeks once we've got the samples and then uh, once we've got the actual release versions of it we'll have some more information and, and I'd like to get it built across some different boards and collaborate with some different creators. But anyway, that is the Gateron Cream Soda. The interest check form is on the Geek Hack page. This is also in the Mech Market Reddit and the Mechanical Keyboards Reddit. Um, if you are interested in these, be sure to pop over, hit that link. It doesn't cost you anything to go there and just throw your interest and let it let us know how many you'd be looking to pick up. If you if you got any feedback uh, I would greatly appreciate it and uh, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to hang out with me and all the support that you've given me and I'm looking forward to uh, getting these in the hands of many many keyboard enthusiasts like myself and uh, hopefully turning this into a thing so I'll elaborate more on that if that starts to come to fruition but uh, until next time y'all have a good one.